Hey guys, and welcome to Functional Print Friday. So we're down here in my basement. This is actually my server rack. In fact, fpfdesigns.com runs on this equipment here. And I have a bit of a problem. I've got this cable modem up here, and it's kind of a poor design, at least from my perspective. You've got these very stiff, heavy cables coming out of the back, particularly the coaxial cable, as this is a cable modem. Um, and this guy doesn't want to stay standing. But you can see, basically, it wants to go wherever the cable is pulling it. It's kind of standing on edge right there and it's gonna fall over, and that's what happens. This thing falls over all of the time, and I've kind of just taken to leaning it on my monitor here so that it doesn't fall all the way over because it's vented on both sides. In fact, you can actually kind of see into it in there, into the, uh, the RF chips inside. This guy throws off a fair amount of heat, so I'd like to have it on its side, and in fact, I'd like to have it down here, but I can't because if I do leave it on its side, and I have tried, uh, it gets hot really quick. Um, not red hot like you could fry an egg on it, but hotter than you'd want to have your hand on it. And I know that's not good for the equipment. So what I'm thinking here is just a simple stand that keys into the, uh, the side. If you notice, this side, they kind of got a little extra artistic and have like overlapping lines. This side, there's sort of just a square there with some rounded edges. What I think we can do is, and this has a fair amount of depth to it, by the way, too. What I think we can do is just design a piece uh, the keys into this and keeps this guy up off the table and it's going to be a lot more stable on its side and should be able to drop it right down in here uh, due to the convection of the hot air coming out of the top uh, we've got plenty of room here so if we can get this up off the surface I think there'll still be plenty of airflow that kind of comes in underneath of it and goes out of the top and then flows out of this uh, this space here so let's uh, go fire up sketch up see what I can come up with all right, and here is the design that I came up with. Uh, pretty simple design. I started by just drawing the, uh, the, the footprint of that recess on the bottom of the cable modem, uh, extruding downward, and then just taking away material uh, so that we have airflow coming in from the bottom. Uh, rounded all the corners, uh, you know, both from uh, just a, a you know, visual uh, appearance perspective, uh, as well as when we have round corners like this and shapes like this for, for legs, it tends to be a lot stronger. You don't have that stress point um, where with temperature cycles and fatigue over time that it'll crack. This should hold up long term, even with some heat cycles um, sitting underneath that cable modem. Uh, nice flat feet down here on the bottoms. So this guy uh, sits uh, nice and steady. I did think about having a small recess here and some TPU feet, but I think it's probably just overkill. I think this is the type of thing that I'm probably going to put it in place on the cable modem and then not touch it for several years. So let's get one of these printed off and uh, see if it fits. All right, and here is our actual print. So let's make sure this guy does actually fit on here the way we want first. Yep, that drops right in and sits flush with the bottom. Not that it necessarily matters that it sits flush, but I did make it the same thickness as the depth of that recess. And if we flip this over, yeah, that sits nicely. So let me move the tripod out of the way here and we'll get it moved down to the bottom. Yeah, that is so much nicer. And uh, you can see we have um, plenty of room underneath now for air to get in and then flow up out of the top and come out of the top of this cabinet here. And even gives me some more real estate uh, up here if I want to pop another piece of equipment or something up here. So, guys, thanks for hanging out this week while we took care of this quick, simple problem with this uh, this Aris cable modem. Uh, that stand honestly looks like it came with a cable modem, and it should have. And that's the thing I love about 3D printing. This was a simple problem. It's a simple fix. We could have just set it up on some wood blocks, but this looks so much nicer. It looks professional. And I love that about 3D printing. I love that you can quickly iterate and solve um, problems with just everyday things like this that... You know, previously were a chore or you really kind of had a half-assed solution. So uh, if you're into that sort of thing, I do a new video like this every single Friday. Sometimes it's a quick fix like this. Sometimes it's a whole from scratch design that provides some sort of functionality like the uh, the Heiko timer base I did a couple weeks ago. Uh, if you're into that sort of thing, hit the subscribe button. And uh, guys, if you do, I'll see you next Friday. Mm -hmm.